Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. In today's tutorial guys, I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 which I'll be using to demonstrate a problem with the S22 line of devices which includes the S22, S22 Plus and the S22 Ultra or any other variants that's similar. Alright, the problem that I'll be showing you to fix is the black screen issue. Now of course this issue happens from device to device, every generation and can happen to virtually any smartphone that you may have. So as I said, this is the S22 um, Ultra that I'll be demonstrating on. Now please note that this device is not actually having the problem and I'm just using it for demonstration purposes to explain how to fix the issue. Also note with the black screen or the blank screen issue, the display will remain blank and one of the things that you'll find is that you'll get nothing on the display. So if you press power or volume up or down or any of the other input uh, buttons you'll find that nothing at all will come up on the screen so the display remains blank but you can hear the notifications you can hear the phone calls but you cannot answer as the display um, is blank now traditionally when you're having this issue i'm going to show you the various steps that we take to fix it now one of the key steps we take to fixing the problem is to take the device please note that this is a demonstration device it's not actually happening on this device i'm going to show you what to do so the first thing you do is to locate your power and volume down so you're going to find both power and volume down and what you're going to do guys is you're going to hold power and volume down so go ahead and hold both and of course your display would not come on and because this is a demonstration device so go ahead and hold power and volume down keep holding guys and the trick here is to hold both of them at the same time and if you do that correctly what should happen is that you'll see nothing for a while but if you keep holding hold firmly what should happen is that the device should power off all right so if nothing happens after holding both of them one of the things you can do after guys is to go ahead and um, press power so if you hold for about 15 seconds power and volume down and nothing happens go ahead guys and then press just power so by pressing power chances are the display should turn on now of course just know what you did is call a um, let me listen to my boss so what you did a while ago or just now is called a force reboot so by doing that force um, restart or reboot what should happen is that the device should restart itself all right and just in case you missed it hold down volume down and power and hold for about 15 seconds um, if nothing happens go ahead and press power by itself as if you're trying to power on and the device should come back up if it hasn't automatically come back up all right so as you can see here guys um, um, if that doesn't work the next thing you gotta do guys is to get your charger so get your charger and get your pc make sure that the charger is connected to your laptop or pc and then of course you're gonna place this in so go ahead and plug this in once you plug it in guys uh, the next thing you're gonna do guys is do the same thing again you're gonna hold volume down volume down and then power you're gonna press and hold for 15 seconds so press volume down and power for 15 seconds make sure both buttons are pressed at the same time after the 15 seconds or so let go and then if nothing happens go ahead and press power by itself again the device should start up all right and of course that's the second thing to do all right so the last thing you can try guys um, which is a ditch effort it will take some time is to allow the battery to fully drain on this device so although you're not seeing anything on the display um, one of the things you could do is maybe um, simply allow the battery to drain so leave it for a few days to allow it to naturally drain out um, i don't know you could probably um, try calling it repeatedly so it would ring out or anything that would normally drain battery quickly that you could possibly trigger on the device once you allow it to drain out after a day or two um, when you, once you're sure it's dead you could just call it to it, verify that it's dead and then once it's dead guys just allow it to keep in its dead state for a little while and then go ahead guys and try charging sometimes by allowing the battery to fully drain and then charging again the device will come back up all right so that's three tips to tackle the um to tackle the um, black screen issue so that's a force reboot that's um, plugging it to your PC and trying 
to do the force reboot again and of course allowing the battery to fully drain and of course there's another one that's highly unlikely make sure that your device is charged sometimes you think your device is charged and it might be just completely dead so make sure that you plug it in and leave it in for at least 15 minutes and then of course try pressing the power button to power all right guys i think i've covered all the major possibilities of how to fix this issue if you have any feedback please um, do so in the comments as always guys ricardo with another set of quick tips showing you how to deal with the black screen issue on the s22 s22 plus and the s22 ultra as always guys ricardo from blog tech tips and bye until next time bye